It is hard once summer begins for me to sit down long enough to edit a full video. This usually takes me at least eight to 10 hours, often longer. I don't wanna leave you hanging, so I'm gonna try something new here. A series of short videos showing what happened while Gary and Lee visited to help me get unbeknownst in the water for hopefully the last mechanical troubleshooting work. In part C, I had some painting and varnishing to catch up on, and I also need to install some vents in these decks. That's a lot of total bilge, but I'm running out. I gotta get some more. I'd like to put a second coat on everything here. I gotta flip these over. If you see underneath, they're just wood color still. The outside will be primed and then painted with blue, so we'll probably do that next. And then flip these one more time when I get some total bilge in, and uh, then we'll put a second coat on. The ceilings have varnish on the back. They got to be flipped over, stained and varnished. The deck, there's one right there. There's one over there. They got bilge paint on the inside. They've got to be mounted onto here. Also, the engine hatch is right there. They'll be mounted onto here, stained, varnished. We are moving along. Remember, unbeknownst is going to be in Hammondsport, July 16th and 17th at the WCCB, the Wine Country Classic Boats Show, and that's a chapter of the ACBS, the Antique and Classic Boat Society. So I hope some of you will show up there and say hello. Beautiful Keuka Lake. Well, we got four coats of varnish on the ceilings, three essentially on the ladder because you can only get, you can't get the whole thing done at once. Keep flipping it over. Four coats on there, two coats of blue on the seat parts, and two coats of varnish on these black walnut pieces that are on top edge of the seat backs. Skiff's up out of the way for now. We're using two and a half inch PVC couplers, which are actually two and three quarters outside diameter, and we got a hole saw that size. So this, I should have showed you this before I started putting life caulk on, but that's going in like that. We're gonna put life caulk around, shove it down a little farther, and then put another bead of life caulk around. It'll end up like this one right here that Gary's checking. And then this will go over the top like that. Keep the water from going in there, and it'll fit the three-inch flexible hose no problem. <laughs> 